hey everyone so today i am going to talk about what do you mean by limit of a function after that we are going to see the notion of left hand limit and right hand limit after that we are going to see some examples and after seeing this example i am sure that this concept will be clear to you so the example that i am going to take is once we see this notion of left and right hand limit we will see examples where left hand limit exists but your right hand limit does not exist then we will see an example where left hand limit does not exist but the right hand limit exist then the scenario where both the limit does not exist then the scenario where both the limit exist but they need not be equal and at the end example where both the limit exist and the limits are also equal so one can have all these possibilities and we are going to see this example one by one and i am not going to take any standard example i am simply going to draw the graph and i will try and i will make sure that you can see this by simply looking at the graph so let's go one by one let us start with the concept of limit of a function now suppose if you have a function f from real numbers to real numbers or you can say some subset of real numbers to real numbers if you have such a function now if you take an element in your domain on the left hand side you let a belongs to r now when you approach towards a like my x is approaching towards a a is a fixed number and uh, x is my variable which is approaching towards a so when x approach towards a uh, i am saying approaching okay i am x is not equal to a i am saying when it approaches towards a when it is very close to a then what you do is you look at the images of this x that means you look at f of x so as x approaches towards a you look at the images of those x and see where it approaches suppose it approaches to a number l then we say that l is the limit of the function okay since we are taking f of x therefore this l is the limit of a function okay so one way to write is as your x approaches a if your f of x approaches l the images of this x then we say that l is the limit of a function this is one way of writing or another way is limit of the function as x approaches a is l so as your x is approaching towards a your f of x is approaching limit means is the limit of f of x is l so this is another way of writing so whenever you see such a thing that means your l is the limit of the function when when your x is approaching towards a so this is what you mean by the limit of a function now one can ask the question does limit of a function always exist or when does it exist okay so for that there is a notion a proper definition involving epsilon and delta but i won't be going into that part there is another way of finding the limit which is with the help of the left hand limit and the right hand limit so i'm going to tell you in that direction with the help of the left hand and the right hand limit so before going towards those examples let's see the concept first so lhl left hand limit okay so now what we have we have a which is a fixed real number so suppose this is my real number system and there is a over here now when i want to approach towards a how many ways i can approach towards a there are two ways to approach a the one is from the right hand side i can approach and one is from the left hand side i can approach so let's go one by one let us first approach a from left hand side so where is my x now my x is on the left of a that means these are my x okay that means what my x is less than a i'm not saying less equal to okay i'm saying x is less than a and it is approaching towards a so when your x is approaching towards a from left hand side so instead of writing in english from left hand side what we do is we give a minus sign to the a at the top so x approaching a minus means what x approaching a from left hand side when you have such a scenario you look at the images of this x and you see where does it approaches then suppose it is approaching l1 then l1 is called as the left hand limit of the function f of x 
Why left hand limit? Because we are approaching A from left hand side. So this is the notion of left hand limit. When you approach a number from left hand side, you look at the images of those x. If those images are approaching to a number, say L1, then we say that L1 is the left hand limit. And the same concept goes for the right hand limit. So on a real number system, if this is my A, you approach A from right hand side. So these are my X. X is what? It is greater than A and this it's approaching towards A. So when X is approaching towards A from right hand side, so we don't write in English from right hand side. We only write X approaching A plus. Okay. And then you look at the limit of the function. If this limit exists, suppose the limit of the function is L2, then we say that L2 is the right hand limit of the function as x approaches A. Okay, And that's why the name left hand limit and the right hand limit. So you simply approach the number A from left hand side and the right hand side. And for those x, you say where their images approaches. Then those numbers, if exist, are called as the left hand limit and the right hand limit and suppose if the limits are same that means when the left hand limit is equal to right hand limit then we say that limit of the function as x approaches to a exist okay so i'm approaching a from left as well as from right and for both the approaches i'm getting the same limits suppose i'm getting the same limits then we say that the limit exists. So when do we say limit x approaching to a f of x exists? You find left hand limit, you find right hand limit. If they both exist and they are equal, then we say that limit x approaching to a f of x exists. Okay. Now this need not always exist. Like the, the scenarios which I told you at the start. Sometimes this exists, this may not exist this exists, this may not exist, both exist, but then both need not be equal. So when they are not equal or when they are not existing in that scenario, we say that this also does not exist. Okay. So now let's see examples one by one so that the picture will be clear to you. Now this is my plane, two dimensional plane. And uh, let me take for simplicity, let me take my a equal to two. So we need to find limit of the function as my x approaches the number now this is my x axis and this is what my f of x we usually call y equal to f of x so these are my images of the function and this is my domain and suppose you have graph of the function is something like this something say like this okay so like suppose this is my say uh, 3 suppose this is 7 okay so these are my this is my a and if this is my x then from the graph you can see this is what this is my f of x if this is my x this is my f of x if this is my x you look at the graph this is your f of x this point that's why this axis is my f of x axis okay so i hope this part is clear to you so now let me erase this so that it won't confuse you so now we have the graph of the function suppose some graph now Let's try to find the limit of the function as x approaches 2. So first let, let us find the left hand limit. So left hand limit means I will write x approaching 2 minus. That means my x is on the left side of the 2. These are my x. Now as you can see from the graph, these are my f of x. For this x, this is my f of x. For this x, this is my f of x. So as you go closer and closer to 2 from left hand side, its images are approaching towards 3. Okay, so therefore the left hand limit for this function is 3. So in this case left hand limit exists and it is equal to 3. Let's go for the right hand limit. Now for the right hand limit you approach 2 from right hand side. Now for this as you can see, so limit x approaching 2 plus because I am approaching 2 from right hand side. As you can see from the graph, this is my f of x. As I am coming closure and closure to 2, you can see that the images, these images are approaching towards 7. And therefore, the right hand limit of the function 
at the point 2 is 7. So in this example, your left hand limit also exists, your right hand limit also exists, but they are not equal. So therefore, since your 3 is not equal to 7, therefore limit x approaching 2 f of x does not exist. So this limit does not exist because my left and right hand limits are not same. Now let's go for an example where one exists and one does not exist. So let's go for the second example. So here again my a is 2. Now let's try to first find the left hand limit that means x approaching to 2 minus f of x. Now from the graph you can see your x is on the left hand side of 2 and from the graph you can see if this is my x, this is my f of x. If this is my x, this is my f of x. So as you are coming closer and closer towards 2, its images are going closer and closer towards 4. So therefore the left hand limit for this function as x approaches 2 is 4. Okay. Now what about right hand limit? Right hand limit means x approaching to 2 from right hand side. So when x approaches 2 from right hand side, question is where its images will approach. Now as you can see, as you are approaching from right hand side, as you can see this graph is going towards upwards it is not stopping so if i draw this x equal to 2 line suppose i am drawing this x equal to 2 line okay and the graph is what it is coming closer and closer to the line and is going towards infinite it will not touch this line it will only stay close to this line and so as x is approaching towards 2 you can see that this is going towards infinite because this is my f of x this is plus infinite this is minus infinite so as x approaches 2 from right hand side the graph of the function approaches to infinite and therefore the answer is infinite that means what the right hand limit does not exist so this is an example where the left hand limit exists but the right hand limit does not exist as the graph shoots to infinity and the same example one can give for the other way okay so let's see the other side so this is my x-axis this is my f of x-axis okay and this is my x equal to 2 so this is my a which is 2 now what is my left right hand limit so as you approach 2 from right hand side as you can see if this is my x this is my f of x this is my x this is my f of x if I am coming closer and closer to 2 you can see the images are coming closer and closer to 3 and therefore in this scenario limit x going to 2 plus the right hand limit of the function is 3 so therefore the right hand limit exists but now in this scenario for the left hand limit as you come closer and closer towards 2 this is my f of x if this is my x this is my f of x as I am coming closer and closer towards 2, as you can see, the graph is going towards infinite. This x equal to 2 line I have just drawn for reference. But as x comes closer to 2, this graph is going towards infinite. And therefore, your uh, therefore your left hand limit, the limit x going to 2 minus f of x is infinite. That means it does not exist. And since one of the limit is not existing for this example and the previous example, therefore your limit x approaching 2 of f of x does not exist. Okay. Now one can also ask, does there exist a function where both the x limit and the y limit does not exist? Answer is yes. In that scenario, so if you know a standard function 1 upon x or let me play with 2 only. So let me call this as 2. Okay, now what you do is, let me this draw this for reference, x equal to 2 line. What you can do is you can take something like this. This is the graph of the function and it is going towards infinite. And you take this something. This is going towards minus infinite. So this graph will not touch this line. It is coming closer and closer towards this line, but it is going towards infinite. And here also it is not touching this line. As you come closer towards 2, it is going towards minus infinite. So as you can see, your right hand limit is infinite and the left hand limit is minus infinite and both does not exist. Or if you don't like minus, you can take something like this. 
so in both the case your left hand limit and the right hand limit are infinite plus infinite but ultimately yeah they both does not exist and therefore limit x approaching to 2 does not exist and now finally let's see an example where they both exist and they both are equal so this is an example my a is 2 again so graph is like this is increasing and here and from here it's decreasing and this circle means at 2 the function is taking the value 7 at 2 function is not taking the value 3 okay so there is a dot over here so f of 2 is what 7 okay so my f of 2 is 7 this is just i'm writing so that you don't get confused but anyways i don't want to find f of 2 what i want to find is i want to find limit x approaching to 2 okay so let's first find the left hand limit as f, f of x so as you approach 2 from left hand side you can see the graph so for this x this is my f of x for this x this is f of x so as you come closer and closer to 2 you can see its images are coming closer and closer to 3 so therefore the left hand limit is 3 what about right hand limit as you are coming closer and closer to 2 you see the corresponding f of x and as you can see the f of x are also coming towards 3 so your right hand limit is also 3 so therefore in this scenario your left hand limit and right hand limit both are 3 therefore limit of the function as x approaches 2 is 3 so therefore for this example the limit exists okay if you know the notion of continuity you can see the graph is not continuous at 2 there is a break at 2 okay so it goes continuous then there is a jump then it again comes down then it's again continuous so this is an example of a non-continuous function whose limit exists okay so so these are all the examples for the limits so if all the examples are clear that means you should be happy by now because that implies that the concept of limit is clear with you if you have any doubt regarding this or any concept in the limit you can ask me in the comment section and if you liked and understood this lecture then do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you